Starters in position. Brazen Pine has the inside. Rupert's delight stands well. Light on set. 1,100 metres. Light on. Set and a racing. Oh, one was a little bit awkward. Kent Street, but didn't lose too much ground. Camacho was beaten for early speed, and Canton Kid won the speed battle. Plaguestone begins well, and so does Blue Ant to be right up there in the early part. Brazen Pine is fourth settling down. Patriotic Kings working around the outside of Rupert's Delight. Getting up on the inside, Camacho now picks up the bid on its outside, Real Valencia, and Kent Street after the awkward start, the last one. So Canton Kid, poor size, has it travelling at the 600 metre mark, led by two over Blue Ant. Plaguestone has gone back to third. Fourth and Rupert's Delight. Deeper out. Patriotic King. Brazen Pine the inside. This favourite Camarche's got a big job to do working to the side but looks to have something there. A gap in the field. Kent Street and Real Valencia at the 300 metre mark. And Shires has Canton Kid travelling. It's straightened up about three to four in front. Camarche's coming one off the fence to go out after it. They've beaten off Blue Ant and then Rupert's Delight. Brazen Pine but Canton Kid at the 100 metre mark extending. Rupert's Delight getting out of the pack with Camarche but it's all Canton Kid. A one act the fair and Canton Kid wins by four. Second, Rupert's Delight. Third, Camarche, a nice run. And then I reckon Patriotic King on the outside of Blue Ant, Brazen Pine and Kent Street closer to the inside. Plague Stone back second last and the last one to clock in will be Real Valencia. That's as easy as you like, folks. Number two, Canton Kid, Paul Shires and Tayan Holder, the much, much informed Tayan Holder stable taking out the second on the card. Went straight to the early lead, rolled along, got them all out of their comfort zones and will go on to score in the uh, softest of fashions. Rupert's delight, a great job to get second in front of Camarchi who looked a little bit all at sea in the early part of the race but you could see it picked up the bit down the side and has worked through the line pretty well. It'll benefit off that but this leader has won well. 102-5-2, 34-5-2 the last 600, last 400, 23 6 3. And the last 200 coming through in 11.64, number two, Canton Kid. Tayan celebrated four wins here on day one of the carnival. No doubt a career highlight. And uh, Canton Kid successful here. Second goes to six, Rupert's Delight. Yanni Sluxman, Kevin Lamprick running well. And third goes to three, Camargi. Numbers confirmed, two, six, three. Two, six and three. Stand by for that fourth. They were right across the track. There was about four of them across the track. But the winner too, Canton Kidder, five-year-old Chestnut Gilding, written Tycoon Marla Sun for uh, Scotty Sims there, Kay Bale, Mrs S McKenna, L Bell, Dean Gebbett, Wesley Roach, the one and only, needs no introduction to the racing fraternity. SD Tomlinson and C Pierce, trained by Tayan Holder and Paul Shires, takes it out here in race number two on the card. Second six, Rupert's Delight, a four-year-old Bay Gilding, ring, winning Rupert, Written's Delight for Kevin Lamprick, Yanis Luxman, and third three, Camarchi, a five-year-old Brown Gilding, Kingman, Kamakura for Mark Pegas who rode and trained. So the winner returns to Kenton Kid. That's win five now. Prize money up over the hundred thousand dollar mark. Doing a wonderful job. We stand by for correct weight. Fourth went to eight. Blue Ant.